My name is Sean Major. I'm having a show at Irvine Contemporary called Love Calls Us to the Things of This World. My work has been described as mixed media tapestries where I sew thousands of objects together to form physical paintings. When I originally conceived of this form, I was thinking about how people perceive their reality and how, you know, as a young kid, you might have a blank slate and and eventually that you know, form these screens that you see your reality through and the screens would have to do with your religion or your cultural associations or specific personal or family experiences. So I felt like you never could see a reality that other, another person could see even if that person was really close to you because of your own screens that you're seeing through. Often the base layer of the pieces gets lost because it, the, it, the surface gets so dense. And people have said to me, why, why are you even using these objects if they're gonna get lost anyway? But I feel like if I didn't have these objects, for instance, um, Barbie clothes might be the bottom layer of a piece and, and I respond to it. So even if the work, even if the Barbie clothes might be covered up, it still, it still sets the way the whole piece is going to end up in the end because I'm responding to it. If I'm responding to the color, I'm going to re responding to how I feel about those kinds of objects, uh, my personal experiences with those objects, or other people's experiences that I, you know, feel connected to. So it's it's really important to me what goes in first, even if it completely gets covered up, which is often the case. I choose objects that have psychological meaning for me or personal meanings or sometimes they're chosen for the psychological meaning of the color, sometimes for the shape or I like to choose objects that have real world significances. I think of the, my choice of objects as a choice of vocabulary, like a, a writer might choose words in a novel. I, I feel like by the end of, you know, when the piece is done, it'll, it, could be, it could read as a novel, it could, it could, it could read deeper and deeper, and there's, it's multi-layered, and, and, you know, no object has more significance than the other, and they all work together to, to tell a story. I'm really attracted to dense, abstract paintings, and I feel like I, partly because the objects are so funky and, and worthless, Really, I feel like I need to have a, they need to be strong formally. So, and I, I feel like I need they need to move, and they I like to feel like they're on the surface, like water is on a surface, and there's a surface tension, and and that is another metaphor for not knowing maybe what's going on below the surface. So the vocabulary of this piece uh, has to do with the objects in it, and the base layer of this work, at least on this half. Is, is dancing costumes and mostly kids dancing costumes and there are also some adult costumes and then there's Barbie doll clothes and swords and and wands and I, I was just I was thinking about how it's easy to hide behind uh, identity issues trying to pretend that real real suffering is not existing maybe in the rest of the world. The title of this work is Bud Sport, and the words Bud Sport refer to a mutation that happens, and it's an agricultural term, in the bud of a plant where the, the fruit that develops is completely different from the parent plant. And it's about my experiences as a child and my ideas or my fears about having kids and then finally having kids and my feelings about that and how, how difficult it, it really is and not bringing, in, not bringing into adulthood what you, what you suffered as a child. I've recently started a new series of smaller works that I refer to as pelts because the, the outside shape is of an animal pelt. I was thinking about uh, fetish objects and all of these pieces are about desire and desire in a fetish object seemed like a perfect match. So, so I'm thinking about sexual desire or money desire or any, anything else that we're just, we're dying to have. This pelt is mainly, has a lot of different kind of heart shapes. 
I like to use little kitschy objects because I think people have an immediate reaction to them, and, and I do too. And I like to get to a point where I can actually, I can own them. I, I, I change, I change the, what they mean. So there's enough of them that we get beyond the kitsch and it becomes, and there's actual meaning 